everyone welcome back to my channel again so this video i've already done my prep my tips um the prep took me forever because her cuticles were horrendous uh, these were my mother-in-law's nails uh, and i applied the tracy lou stiletto tips and then cut and filed them to shape and here you can see i'm just applying a base layer of crystal glass I'm using my big boy brush and I'm using the one monomer, all from CJP, as always. So you can see I place the bead. I don't touch the cuticle with it. And then I get my brush right behind and make sure it's really nice and flush. Obviously with a clear base, you don't want to build it up too thick because there's going to be another layer of colour and then capping as well. It's just something to fire back down to when your clients come back in for a redesign. And because all my clients now, obviously, I've got no nails on, I want to make sure when I'm doing the clear base, I'm doing it enough. I think previously, I wasn't doing the clear base quite thick enough. So that when I filed back with my e-file, it wasn't removing all the previous set. So I wanted to make sure when I've got the chance to do all my clients a fresh set, that I do my clear base thick enough. So this design today, my mother-in-law did actually bring in a picture um, that was done by Annabelle. So here on this nail I'm applying, this is one that I mixed using CJP Periwinkle and Blue Jeans. Just a really thin sort of wash of colour because I'm going to be coming in with some glitter. So the glitter is literally about four different ones that I mixed together. Um, because the glitter on the set I didn't have, so just looked in my drawers and picked some that I thought would sort of look similar to the original design. And I just dip into my crystal glass and pick up a tiny bead of clear when I'm using glitter so that you're not building that glitter layer up too thick. So this nail is a three colour ombre, so at the tip I'm starting off with another colour I mix myself using CJP Blue Hue um, and Coconut Milk. Make sure I get that blending straight away while the product is nice and wet. And then smooth it and cut any excess off the end. The smoother you apply your acrylic, the less finish fine than you're going to have to do. I must say it does feel really weird being back doing nails again. I don't properly start back while next week, but I had my mum in last week, my mother-in-law today, and I've got a couple more this week just to ease myself back in. And here I'm applying CJP Sunny Days. So again, get that blended up and down while it's still nice and wet. So you get that fade. And then come in with a more at the cuticle area. Close to the cuticle again, but obviously not touching it. 
and then get my brush right behind. I'm tilting my brush and I'm really tucking it in and then blending that bead, the top of the bead in with the yellow. So just by blending the top of the bead, you're keeping the majority of the colour in the cuticle area so you're not dragging it all up the nail. And this nail, I'm applying a full bead of Sunny Days. Again, here you can really see how I took that colour into the cuticle. And obviously this only works if you've got a properly prepped cuticle. If you've got skin still hanging off, then obviously you're not going to be able to do that. So you need to make sure your prep is really, really thorough. And then I just apply a swoosh of that glitter through the centre. this nail is another three colour ombre so I'm starting off with that blue at the tip and then to the yellow and to the amour and just while you're watching this nail I have been doing a few online master classes I've already done a marbling one and I've got a shaping one coming up next week and I just wanted to see what else people would be interested in um basically how it works is I'll go live on Facebook so it's a live master class um covering basically whatever anyone wants to see like i say i've done marbling already and that is still available if people are interested in paying and joining that all my master classes are 10 pound a ticket um, and i'm alive for about between an hour and a half and two hours and like i say i've got the the shaping one next week but i just wanted to get an idea of what everybody wanted to see and what would be popular to do in the future And this nail is exact same as the little finger. So then I come back and cap all these nails in crystal glass. So I apply at the cuticle, tilt my client's finger down and again, get my brush right behind that clear so it's nice and flush in the cuticle and so you've got no step. And then I'm walking it down towards the tip using the belly of my brush if I feel it needs that much clear. You'll see on the next one, I do it in a slightly different way. Let's just cut that excess off the end. Don't swipe off the end with your brush, otherwise it'll just stay thin. You need a little bit of thickness in that tip. So on this nail, when I looked from the side view, I kind of had built a bit of an apex up already. So I'm just capping 
to this nail to cap the blend. So you can see I'm just wiping that clear over the nail. So that there are different ways of capping. my shaping it's the exact same routine as always so i will let you watch and again i've got a more in-depth class coming up monday the 27th so if you're interested all the information will be in the description box so please have a look in there if you are interested and as you can see underneath i've got my brand new extraction system which is the cjp clean air and it is unreal I've not tested it yet for um, doing an infill, obviously, because I've not had anyone that's had a redesign yet. But for the fumes, for this hand filing, everything, the only dust on me was what you can see on my glove. There was none on my arms, my apron, on my desk even. It literally took every single bit of the hand filing dust. So I would highly recommend that. So I'm applying CJP Time to Shine top coat to all the nails. And yes, I did take my glove off before anyone jumps on me. My mother-in-law is in my bubble, so I have seen her at close contact. I've been to her house, she's been to my house. So 
yeah, and I, I sanitised my hands anyway, so the clean, she sanitised hers, so all was fine. But for any other clients, I'll be wearing full gloves the whole way through, PPE, everything like that. And here's your finished look. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it.